Welcome to the DataBits Automotive Technology segment. Today we're going to look at how to use a simple and fairly inexpensive little gadget to check the error code on your car. So if you have a check engine light on and you want to find out what it is all by yourself and don't want to have to rely on somebody else to give you that information, well, I'm going to show you how to do it. Some of you may be watching this video on an Android device, and if you are, you're halfway there on the software because the software is free for Android devices. And if you're an Apple user, like I am, then you're out of luck. You're going to have to spend some money to get the app. So uh, unless things have changed since the making of this video, you are going to need an Android device. And today I have with me my HTC 3D phone that I purchased fairly inexpensively off of eBay and it has this nifty extra large battery attachment with it so I get tons of battery life on this little guy. Now I don't use it as a phone I just kind of use it as a an Android uh, toy essentially and the 3D part of it is really cool by the way. But uh, the next thing you're going to need whether it's an Android tablet or an Android phone that's the first part and the second thing is you're going to need this ELM 327 Wi-Fi interface, and it supports all OBD2 protocols. It doesn't have to be the Wi-Fi interface, it could be the Bluetooth one, but we're going to use the Wi-Fi interface for this little uh, test or uh, segment today. This one was cheaper, so that's why I got the Wi-Fi interface. Now once you plug this into your car and turn the power on, your car is going to essentially have its own Wi-Fi hotspot. And that hotspot is the name that's right there. ELM 327. So you're going to connect your phone to that first and then you're going to be able to communicate with this device and find out what it's saying about your car. So first we have to plug it in and whether you have a Kia Soul like me or you have another kind of vehicle you're going to need to find where the plug is that this uh, gadget plugs into. Mine just happens to be right here underneath and there it is it's plugged in. All right, so the next segment, our next thing we gotta do is turn on the key. And we're gonna have to start the engine in order to get the readings that we need. All right, so you wanna go to your phone or your tablet next and you want to pair your phone with it via the Wi-Fi signal. So let's go ahead and do that. Show you where that happens. Now mine has a screen issue, so I'm gonna end up turning it sideways before we're done here so that I can communicate with my phone, but um, don't wanna go into Facebook. All right, scroll over and find out where your settings button is. Tap on your Wi-Fi and find your Wi-Fi ELM 327 in the list, tap it, and connect to it, and at least in my case, I'm already connected because I've done this before. The next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download an app. And again, it is a free app from the uh, Google Play Store, and it's called Torque. You see right there? So um, you're going to need that app, and you're going to need to launch it. Now, the first time you launch the app, you may have to do a little initial setup to tell it what kind of... Uh, OBD connector that you have. Got this welcome screen here. It says the full paid version also includes 0 to 60, 0 to 100, and quarter mile timers, as well as many other features not present in the free version. All right, so here's where we're going to have to turn it sideways because my phone actually doesn't have the ability to uh, detect touches on this side. So I'm going to hit OK. So here's what we have so far. We got our coolant, we got our GPS height, and we got our acceleration there. And then I'm gonna scroll up and you can see that I've added all of these other um, little uh, odometer type things to the screen. So all of this stuff is coming from my car. If you're not connected to your OBD2 device, it will tell you that there's no signal or you're not connected. So don't worry about that part. So uh, let's see, where's our RPMs at? They're not on this screen. So let's go to the next one. Well, maybe they are. Then I got this one. See, these are all the little widgets that you can install 
on the app. There we go. There's our, it says revs, revolutions. All right, RPMs. So I'm revving up my engine and we're seeing real time data coming to this Android device from it. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so you say, well, how do I check my error code? Well, as we look up here, you're gonna see, there it is, my check engine light, that little yellow engine looking thing right there. So how do we check it? Well, on this one, I'm gonna hit my menu button, which is here, and then I'm gonna to go to fault codes, which is over here. And then I'm gonna show logged faults right here. And it requests them. There's our fault code, P0441. And a P0441 is an evaporative emission control system incorrect purge flow. How about that? Isn't that an awesome error code? So what I plan on doing is calling my dealer on Monday and finding out exactly what that is and whether or not it's covered under my warranty. But uh, that's pretty much it. So there you've seen it how to check the error codes with an Android device and the little uh, device that I showed you at the beginning. Pretty cool, huh? And then you can set up your own little dashboard on here and monitor stuff and find out what your average miles per gallon are and your throttle and coolant and all that stuff. Now, I'm not an automotive guy, but I am a gadget guy, and a friend of mine who is an automotive guy is the one that... Uh, turn me on to this particular uh, app and so forth so it's pretty neat well guys thank you for watching this is all I got for you today now I'm off to uh, find the dealership and find out exactly what it is I've got to do to get my car fixed hope you have good luck fixing yours as well thanks for watching please subscribe share this with a friend and uh, don't use uh, devices that have reflections in them where you can see your fingers. All right. See ya. Bye.